Yeah, they, 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 they hate when you elevate. They're stacking up losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. You feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment. I swear I could levitate. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott, and if you watch my channel a lot, you probably have recognized this guy's face a couple times or seen him on my Instagram, seen us on social media together. Um, this is one of the guys that I coach. I, I always tell people this. Look, when I started training with Tony Robbins, um, I told Tony Robbins at the beginning, I said, hey, I'm going to be your number one student. And then just a couple months ago, in front of millions of people, he's like, hey, this guy's like my number one student. And he mm. gave us a shout out, Andy Elliott. Um, did the same thing with Dean Graciosi, did the same thing with Bradley. I did the same thing with Patrick Bet David. And again, they all say, Hey, this guy's my number one student. So I'm going to tell you this every day, you know, we train a million people and I'm like, I'm always looking like who's going to be my number one student. And this guy's in the running. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, um, he does every th single thing that like, it's like, I always say this and then I'm going to move over to Eric and I want you guys to meet him. And if you've met him already, like we're going to talk about today, is it time to switch careers? We're going to talk about some industries right now that are banging and making a lot of money and then some that are dying. Okay. Um, but one of the things with Eric that I really like is that he's just super coachable. Okay. Um, I love that. Uh, I was talking about competitors earlier and I said, I want you to imagine a competitor that you would never want to go up against. Never right? One that can stay, you know, relentless, one that can stay consistent, one that never stops learning, you know, um, one that's ultra disciplined, um, one that's just always hungry, no matter how much money they make, they're always on fire and starving. Um, one that's strong enough to say no to things that are distractions. Dude, listen, that's a dangerous competitor. They can say no. And then one that says yes to everything that can help them kick ass more. Like, dude, like the, 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 sh the, the shorter that you can take your decision making time to do something, you know, you need to do the, the more successful you'll be this guy. When I say do this, this will help you. Boom. He's on it that quick. It's like, he doesn't think and why other people are processing and they're getting stuck and paralyzed with fear this guy's moving. And by the way, someone else is moving in the direction that you want to go right now. And so I say that because that was how I built a nine figure business in a couple of years is that whenever I would be coached and somebody would tell me to do something, it was like, dude, how do I know if somebody's serious about what they said? Speed and urgency, how mm. fast they move. And this guy moves with speed, this guy moves with urgency, but he's also really, really skilled, okay? Um, so today we're gonna talk about, is it time to switch industries? Okay, Eric, appreciate you being here. Of course, man. Let's educate the world, right, yeah. on some industries real quick, right? Um, Eric, in case somebody doesn't know who you are, before we get into this, yeah, give us a two minute background. Yeah. On you real quick. In case somebody's watching this, because you may not know who he is, yeah. um, he's made a lot of money. Um, you know, he's made he's made nine figures before. The guy's done some pretty cool shit. The guy's done some crazy stuff. The guy is a jack of all trades. If you see him, I mean, <laughs> I no, like he's super like positive. He's super cool, but you can tell he's had a crazy life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And by the way, like he figured it out through all the craziness. Now, how to help people that don't have to go through what he went through, how to get the life that he always wanted when he was younger really fast now. Um, so let's talk a little bit about like what you do just for a quick second to catch everybody up. Yeah. Uh, so for the last almost 15 years, been building businesses a hundred percent virtually over telephones. Uh -huh. That's all I've ever done is phone sales. King I've of virtual sales. Never done face to face. Uh -huh. Um, up until now, now I'm doing face to face. Yep. Um, not a lot of it, but I, I do do it. And up until 28 do drugs, alcohol, don't need to tell the drug log, but like you name it, I've done it. My drug was more. Yeah. Literally, I just want more. Yeah. And yeah, uh, so Eric's a comeback kid. I'm sure a lot of you guys have messed up before. We all have. And when he did, guess what he did? Instead of being addicted to doing bad shit, he got addicted to business. And it happened like that. Mm -hmm. it, it, in August 9th of 2009, which my my clean date is coming up here in a week week and a half. Mm -hmm. I'll have uh, 15 years clean and sober from any mood Drug. or mind altering drugs. And uh, when I made the decision to uh, put the drugs down, it was, I got into sa literally sales. Yep. Sales changed my life. You changed your addiction. I changed the addiction and uh, I went all in on it. And uh, for the first crack at being an entrepreneur, uh, I built a company in seven and a half years, my wife and I, mm -hmm. uh, in 2019, we're getting ready to go through a nine figure exit. Mm -hmm. made millions of dollars, mm -hmm. uh, literally living that life where I was like, holy shit, is this real? And uh, the, the money we were getting ready to collect on that exit, uh, 60 days before that, 
lawsuits, lost it all. Yep. In 2019, yep. went through a two and a half year lawsuit. Um, not that we did anything wrong, but anybody out there that understands when you have he a pissed off a competitor. Uh, or, or a multi-billion dollar company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you see stuff like this happen all the time. Yep. And you're the comeback kid. Yeah. You came back from drugs to your business. You built this thing. Yep. You go through this lawsuit. And then you're like, okay, like what's next? What's next? Yep. yep. And you immediately went back to war. And tell us what you, what you found. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you hear us talking about this level 10 earning opportunity with my boy Eric Klein right here in the wholesale industry space, which, by the way, you can make a million dollars in under 12 months. There's lots of people doing it. There's an event we're going to be putting on later in October. Time of this video is 2024, October. And if you're watching this before October 2024, you want to send a text message right now. I'll send you over ticket information where you'll come train live with me. And Eric Klein will teach you how to make seven figures in under 12 months. Yes, it's real. Yes, the check's cash. Yes, you'll work for yourself and you control your own life. Pretty cool, right? So anyways, if you want to spend time with me, if you want to get information on this event, tickets are stupid cheap. Long story short, you'll spend the day with me and with him. Text the number below. And if it's after October of 2024 and you're watching this, we're doing these events like, you know, a couple times a year. So go ahead and send a text anyways, and we'll send you over information to the next event. I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. And this is what he's doing now. I want to tell you what he found. Wholesale real estate. Okay. So what is wholesale it, real estate? Again, I didn't know what it was either. Yeah, I wanted you to explain because when I hear you say real estate, I'm like, oh, I'm, oh you want me to be a realtor. Like or, a or a landlord or, a landlord or, a, or something. Some, yeah. yeah. Or it, buy houses, do investments. Yep. Right. So let's talk about wholesale real estate real quick. In case somebody watching this doesn't know what it is. By the way, you can make seven figures in under a year doing it. And this guy's teaching people to do it all around the world. So like, listen to what it is. Yeah. Okay. So my first 12 months from the day I put the, the headset on my head, because when I was like, all right, I'm going to jump into this new industry, I could have easily built a team, but I was like, wait a second, I need to understand what I'm going to build. So I personally got back on the phones, mm -hmm. uh, where my last company I had over 100 guys on the phones. So I, I put the headset back on, sat in the seat, and started building from scratch. In that 12 months, I did $2.6 million. Didn't know anything about real estate. Never flipped a house, owned a rental property, nothing. Uh, so I did 2.6 million. I netted 58% uh, of that, which was 1.5 million. Okay. And I did that a hundred percent virtually over the phones. Okay. So, so what so, is it? Yeah. So, so first of all, um, and I, cause I want you to finish number one, it's, it's virtual. I didn't walk into a single okay. property. I just want everybody to know this. Like, cause if you're taking notes, like I want to ask you a question, right? Remember the, 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 the name of this title is called, is it time to switch industries? Right? Yeah. Virtual. Okay. When you say virtual, you mean you can set up an office in your home. You can set up a desk. You can Anywhere. sit at your kitchen table. Um, you literally um, make calls. Yep. You teach people, you know, the script. Yep. Right. You show them where to find the, the data and the audience. Right. Everything. They make the calls. Yeah. They get paid as a middleman, which you'll explain here in a second. Yep. And they can control their own life. They yep. can work the days they want. They yep. literally have zero boss and they can make as much money as they want. As much as they want. Okay. So anybody in everywhere in the United States, can you be outside the United States? I got guys in Canada doing it here in the state. They're okay. in Canada, Good. I wanted to make sure. but they're in the States. I got guys in Columbia, okay. the, the, the country, and Good. they're doing it here in the States. Okay. You guys can work virtually from anywhere. This is crazy, okay? And you're talking about earning real money, checks that cash, badass stuff, and uh, we'll move on. I just want to make a point because if it's time to switch industries, there's people right now that are burned out. I know a lot of different industries, um, and I won't say what, what industry. We'll talk about some earning potential. Yeah. But like you just had a guy, because I coach a lot of different industries, so I don't want to talk shit on any one of them. But I want to tell you this. He was like, this guy called me and was like, dude, I'm making 40 grand a month, but I hate my life. I hate my job. And, you know, your guys, the guys that you train, they don't yep. hate their life. They love their life. They got freedom, man. Yeah. A lot of them work four days a week. They, they make calls. They make good money. They can build a lifestyle around it. Yeah, They yeah. can be with their family. They can bring their family with. Like, it's... Yeah, so let's keep going. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure everybody understands the concept of a, there's not a brick and mortar building. We're going to teach you. you. You run your own business now. Yep. Time to get paid. Yeah, so the, the actual con the, the concept of it, it, and mind you, my first 12 months, because this is, again, I did 
the $2.6 million, I did 118 contracts closed and funded, mm -hmm. never walking into a house, and almost all of them were in another state outside of where I was at, mm -hmm. just so everyone knows. And I never once bought a house. Mm -hmm. Never once bought a house. My average uh, cut I got on the deal was over $20,000 per deal. There was, you know, I did a couple six-figure deals in one deal. But what it is, is you're, you're, you're the sales and marketing arm for investors out there that like to buy homes as rental properties or like to fix and flip homes. Can anyone do this? Anybody can Wait a do minute, this. but I don't have sales experience. I don't, I don't, I don't have marketing experience. Yeah, I got you. I got a 13 page script to where as long as you can read, like if you can read, you can read this script from hello to goodbye and get a structured conversation, get a contract signed by a homeowner in, in this industry. Okay. It's, it's that easy. I got it. Okay. Um, so what it is, is we, we find off market properties that homeowners want to sell, whether they are in distress or the homes in distress, or you get the lead where the homeowner and the home is in distress. So now that's a really, really hot lead. So what we do is we, we, get on the phone. We talk to these individuals. I own the largest uh, cold calling company in the industry, uh, run it remote, which generates leads for people in the wholesale industry. Yep. So, so when they, when people sign up with you and they, they get in with your coaching and you're teaching them, you, you show them how to get the leads. Yeah. Yeah. I so they serve up warm leads. They don't even have to go find them. Yep. Okay. Got it. Yeah. All right, let's keep rolling. So once let's say, uh, if, and these are just round numbers for conversation. Let's say a home's worth 200 grand. We're gonna we're gonna put it under. I'm gonna get you, Andy, to sell me your house for a hundred thousand dollars. And a lot of you are probably like, "There's no way someone's gonna sell a house for a hundred grand that's worth two hundred. It's happening every single day, mm -hmm. all day long. Yeah. Notice what he said. Either a homeowner's in distress, or the home is in distress, or the home's in distress. Because mm -hmm. listen, at the end of the day, like I can even relate it to myself. When I went through my lawsuit, life showed up quick for me. Like I, I, at that time I owned a $7 million home. If someone would have offered me 6 million when I was trying to sell it just to get out from under it, I would have taken a million dollar loss on it. Mm -hmm. Like, so it doesn't matter where you're yeah. at. It's the time. It's speed. It's, it's speed and convenience. Time and circumstances for the homeowner and speed and convenience that we can give them. Mm -hmm. Right? So I get you to say, yes, I'm going to sell you my house or you're going to sell me your house, Andy, for a hundred grand. I put that, I send you a, a DocuSign, so I don't have to come to you in person. Mm -hmm. And I send you a DocuSign and it's a purchase agreement that has a clause in there that says we can assign our rights to that contract to somebody else. So you say yes to me, mm -hmm. that you'll sell it for a hundred grand. And then what I do is I go find a guy in that area, which I teach people how to find those yeah, people. Yeah, you, you show them how this works. The a to yeah, Z. everything. Yeah, because yeah, it's very structured. And by the way, you may think, well, who would want to buy that? He has tons of people that are waiting for someone to raise their hand and say, I got a house. There's millions of people. Yes. There's, an, there's fix and flippers out there right now that have crews waiting for their next deal, mm -hmm. right? Because they got to keep their crews busy. So what we do is we put that house under contract for a hundred grand. I then take it, I market it to a pool of investors and they buy it for $120,000. So at closing, you're going to get a hundred grand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get $20,000 at closing. Mm -hmm. And then they own it. They, the investor has the home. Yeah. So very it, simple. It's just an assignee fee. Basically that, that's a, all it a, is. a middle broker fee. It's not a broker. Or what is it? But it, you're literally no, you're they're assigning. assigning you. Yes, yes. Yeah. You can't use yeah. the word broker. No, no, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, you can tell. Like I'm really interested in it because, you know, when I was younger, I, uh, you know, I sold cars, and I remember chasing people down on the pavement. I remember working from seven in the morning until eleven at night. You know, I mean, it was just it was just yeah. crazy. I mean, I just if somebody would have told me that I could have worked virtually on a phone. And just made calls. It's real. Like that didn't exist back then. Of course. Okay. Like, or if it did, no one told me about it. Yeah. I remember I was watching this deal with Pace Morby, right? Yep. You know, and uh, he was talking about the first time that he heard, and I, mean, I hear this, I've heard millions of different stories of different people, but there's a guy named Pace Morby and you know, he's kind of a, an influencer and he, he's in the real estate space, yeah, yeah. right? 
But he was, he was, I watched, it was one of his first reels. He said he was, he was hearing about wholesale real estate and he was like, this can't be true. Yeah. But like, but like, but like people may be watching this and like, it can't be true. I thought that. Yeah. And, and I, and I know that. And because you're telling it, it's always like, if you're telling it, like people won't believe it. So I'm right. telling you that this guy that is very successful was sitting there and he was like, okay, I'm going to try it. And he did it. And then literally you don't have to go to the bank. Right. Like they'll wire your money. If, yeah. Um, but he wanted to go down to the bank because like he didn't be, like right. believe it. So he, he physically drove like four hours down to the closing yeah, yeah. at the place. <laughs> and he sat there. And when they were done, they walked him out of cashier's check and handed it to him. And he left and went and quit his job. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I know you're getting a ton of value watching this video right now. But Andy Elliott wanted me to tell you. Listen, I'm the number one wholesaling coach in the world. In October 25th and 26th, right around the corner, Andy Elliott and I are hosting in my brand new office in Scottsdale, Arizona, over 9,000 square feet. We're gonna show you exactly how to build a seven-figure wholesale operation in 12 months or less. Listen, Andy endorses the fact that we know what we're doing. So what we want to do is bring you here to Scottsdale, show you how to find the leads, talk to the leads and get the big fat juicy spreads that I know you all want to get paid. We're talking 20, 30, 40, $50,000 deals. So what I want you to do is text the number below and Andy Elliott and I will be waiting for you October 25th and 26th here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Let's finally get paid what you're worth. And now back to the video. And he was like, that's it. All I needed to see was the first check. Proof of concept. Now I'm going. Yep. And he went crazy. Anyways, um, I just see this happen all the time, man. I see people that, you know, are just average people. Um, I'm just saying like, just like a lot of people, they're just average people. They, they're extraordinary people. They just have average jobs, average incomes, average opportunities. And they get involved with just one thing like this. And the next thing you know, they're making millions of dollars. Mm taking control god man it's bloodline breaker it is at its best like it generational changes like 100%. generational wealth like yeah like dude i mean there's a lot of people right now that are really working hard i mean the one thing is about america is you know a lot of we have, i say we have a lot of lazy people but there's a lot of hard working people that don't make a lot of money yeah and you know i wish everybody would understand that just because you work hard doesn't mean you're going to make a lot of money you got to work hard and you got to work smart and there's a lot of people that are working really hard and they're sacrificing time with their family and they're never going to get ahead and they're never going to retire. And this is the kind of thing that really could help someone set themselves up for retirement for real, set, set themselves up, put a financial fence around their family yeah. in case anything ever happened. Um, and then I still have a family life. 100%. Yeah. I, I always say you got to be in the right vehicle yeah. just to, to, piggyback off what you said you can work your ass off for years and years and years but if you're in the wrong vehicle you know it it it's unfortunate but that happens every single day and what people don't know they don't know yeah. one thing i like about this versus other industries that a lot of us sales guys get into is there's no chargebacks mm -hmm. like when a house closes it closes and the money hits your bank yeah it's a done deal there's no unwinds when the money hits the bank there's n no no not at all uh, so, and I know for a lot of sales guys, man, you can work your, you can work your ass off for, well, well let's talk about some of that. So, we're, yeah. we're, so, cause I think let, let's switch into some industries right now. Um, solar. Okay. Um, I, I know that a lot of solar guys have switched over and they're doing wholesale real estate with you now. Oh yeah. I'm and, talking to more solar guys right now than I ever have. Yeah. So you, you, you see like the largest installer Titan went out in Sunrun. Um, Sunrun went out. And then I was watching this deal with Lumio. They just put a big eviction notice on a lot of their buildings because um, really? they're not paying their. My point is, with, with this being said, is when you sell something as a salesperson, the one thing that you always expect to do is get paid. Yep. And when you don't get paid, it's kind of like being cheated on by your girlfriend, okay, or your wife even. <laughs> Because you give a lot to this. Yeah. And there's a lot of solar salespeople that have given a lot to the solar industry. Yep. They're good people. They know that the money to earn is there. But now that there's a lot of problems in the solar industry, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there's some good companies that are killing it. But for most, it seems like a lot of people are really struggling and hurting. Yeah. 
these guys loved the solar industry because the million dollar earning opportunity was sitting there. Yep. And now they can pivot over. They're not in 120 degree weather knocking doors. Yeah. Okay. They're in the air conditioner calling on the phone. So I, I flew out to, it was, this was probably a year ago. I flew out, I was going to start a virtual solar company with some guys that were in California. And uh, we had got to talk and they were doing sizable numbers. I'd never verified them, but anyways, it's irrelevant. I went out there and I, I knocked doors for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. And they put me with their two top guys and they're like, spend half the day with him and half the day with him. And uh, I, I went with the first guy and one, what he was saying to homeowners blew my mind. Uh, it had nothing to do with solar. It was like the craziest stuff I've ever heard in my life. I know. And, uh, but walking door to door to door, knocking, knocking, dude, I was, by lunch, I was sunburnt. I had blisters on the back of both of my feet and I was, I was done listening to what these guys were saying because it was just so crazy. Yeah, it was, it was the craziest stuff I ever heard. And I remember calling my wife up and I'm like, there's nothing anybody could do to ever get me out here knocking these doors. Like being able to pick a phone up and do the same thing, but in my opinion, way more efficient. Like I, I, I do believe the phones are more efficient than knocking doors. Yeah, no, no, of course. But I'm saying like, so we're talking you, about, is it time to switch industries? So I would say if you're in the solar industry, if, you know, and, and, uh, turnaround time on these closed deals. I mean, these deals usually close within 30 days, right? You, from the date you have it under contract. Yes. You're looking at anywhere from 30 to 45 days. Okay. Yep. And, um, you were talking about, um, your office when you had it up, it seemed like there was two deals going under contract about every day. Is that about right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? With the guys yep. just making calls. Yeah. Yeah. So if there's two deals and the tw average of 20 a deal, that's 40,000 in commissions a day. Yeah. I you mean, can so, make real. I was about to say, so, someone could make a hundred a grand in a week if they worked hard. Y yeah. So it, when I first jumped into the industry, just to give like people that are thinking, man, like what is the earning potential? And I, I came from a sales background. I had had a big team, but again, I, I, when I got into wholesaling, I put my ass back in the seat to see what I could personally produce myself, not knowing anything about real estate. And I didn't have anybody coaching me. So it was like, I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning, yeah. underwriting deals. Yeah, you didn't know the script. You I didn't know any. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you I knew how to sell. Now. Yeah. And so I had closed some deals up to like month one, I closed some contracts, but then they ultimately had to fund. And then month two, same thing. I think the first 30 days I did 13 contracts. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many of them funded because I was probably in the, some wrong markets in that. But my fourth month, in the space, I closed and funded on a hundred thousand dollars by myself. Mm -hmm. it, it was actually over a hundred grand, but it was six figures net to me my fourth month. And that's where I was like, all right. That, and then I started scaling a team. Yeah. And like you said, you didn't have a coach. I didn't have a coach. Yeah. So, so guys, let's talk about solar. Uh, he, he said, there's no such thing as chargebacks. Um, solar has a lot of chargebacks. Yep. Um, solar has, a lot of deals that they sell, they sit down, they present, they close, and they never pay. They don't get installed. Yeah, they never pay. They never get installed. Um, we'll talk about automotive. Um, the automotive industry, you know, two years ago, COVID hit three years ago. Um, the market was three times better than it had ever been. In the car industry? Uh -huh. Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, all the car. Do you remember all the cars went away? Yeah, You drive by every yeah, uh, yeah. car dealership. Yeah, they yeah. didn't have any cars. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Did the remember? sales guys kill it during that? Yeah, listen, let me tell you why. So when you drove by a car dealership, right? Do you remember driving by and they had no cars? Yeah, it was empty. Yeah, I remember that. Like, like there was zero cars at a car dealership. Yeah. But any car that you could buy had like a $25,000 addendum. Above. Above. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I found a car. It's $30,000. It'd be $55,000. Really? And... They sold it for that. Really? And as soon as a car hit the lot here, some of them would be a hundred thousand over sticker. And so these salespeople, they weren't good at selling. Right. The availability, no one else had any cars. Right. So as soon as one hit the lot, it was like as fast as a customer they could get to the store, it. 
they were buying it. And so what happened is the market were three times better. The salesman didn't get three times better. The market was three times better. And so the guys made three times more money in the automotive, but we knew it would correct. Mm -hmm. And it did. And the top one percenters are still making good money. And the other 99% are singing the blues. And by the way, they're mentally depressed, most of them. Right. I know my killers. You know who, you know, I love you guys, my killers. But they're mentally depressed. And the reason why is because they got free money. And they got entitled and they Too basically easy. got paid more money than they were worth. Right. And then what happened is, is they rode, they rode that storm and now they have cars everywhere and dealers have, you know, high interest floor plans, cars they got to get rid of. Um, you know, the banks have taken tons of repos on all these cars that they borrowed. Remember, they borrowed $25,000. Over what car. it was worth. I didn't even well, think about that. Repo that. Yeah. Now the banks got that car depreciated because the market's corrected Every and, and you pay 25 grand more. Dude, you just took a repo, but bank took a $50,000 loss. Yep. Dude, what do you think now that they're going to be, how are they going to be loaning money? Dude, they're going to yeah. be really sketchy about loaning money because they're taking all these massive losses, mm -hmm. even though they made a lot of money. And plus rates are up right now. You know, you know, I mean, I, and I love that because everybody's got to buy houses, but not everybody has to buy a car. You know what I'm Real saying? Real estate ain't going nowhere. Yes. I, that's what I was going to about to say. Um, let's decide what market is recession proof and income right um really proof from from going down yeah so wholesale real estate because that a signing fee right now um people are trying to acquire as many businesses as many homes as many investments these yep. uh these capital yep. places that have all this money they're trying to buy everything they can find right now yes and and i really think the next three or four years are going to be really heavy in like them buying every piece. It's gonna be a gold find. rush. Dude, it is the gold rush. It and, really is. Yeah, and so we had the solar boom. Yep. Right? Now it's like the wholesale real estate boom. Yeah. Except no one really knows about it. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you hear us talking about this level 10 earning opportunity with my boy Eric Klein right here in the wholesale industry space, which by the way, you can make a million dollars in under 12 months. There's lots of people doing it. There's an event we're going to be putting on later in October. Time of this video is 2024, October. And if you're watching this before October 2024, you want to send a text message right now. I'll send you over ticket information where you'll come train live with me. And Eric Klein will teach you how to make seven figures in under 12 months. Yes, it's real. Yes, the check's cash. Yes, you'll work for yourself and you control your own life. Pretty cool, right? So anyways, if you want to spend time with me, if you want to get information on this event, tickets are stupid cheap. Long story short, you'll spend the day with me and with him. Text the number below. And if it's after October of 2024 and you're watching this, we're doing these events like, you know, a couple times a year. So go ahead and send a text anyways, and we'll send you over information to the next event. I love you guys. Let's get back to the video. And you're the one who's really educating everybody on it. And you're bringing all these guys in, some of them 18, 19, 20 years old, making more money than their, than their parents in the first yeah. couple months. You yeah. know? And then people that are older, that are you know, our age, they're older, they're like, I'm done with this career that I'm doing over here. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to work my ass off. I'm going to see my family, and this is what I'm going to do. I have all different age ranges. Literally, this, the guy, as you were sitting there saying that, this guy, Lauren. Uh, he was at our hustle summit mm -hmm. and uh no he he flew his son to our hustle summit he's a truck driver mm -hmm. he's driving uh eight he, he says he goes eight days straight in a truck and then he gets three days at home and then eight days in a truck and he's like i've always wanted to get into real estate he's a truck driver and uh he makes i think he said he makes thirty thousand a month driving trucks but after everything nets out he's making like 15 grand and I was telling him, I'm like, Lauren, and I was like, how, like, how healthy are you sitting in a truck for eight Never. days straight? I was like, how's that, that gas station food treating you? Like at your, your 56, dude, you're going to diet before you're 70 living Facts. this type of a lifestyle. Facts. And, uh, like, that's the picture I painted. And he just, like, he's like, this, this is my ticket out of a truck. Again, he's in the wrong vehicle. So the, the solar guys, like, listen, at the end of the day, there's industries that come and go. And when there's a wave, ride the wave. But you got to know when to get off the wave mm -hmm. onto another wave. And if there's one that is got, I mean, you know, this, this thing is 
this wave right now in the real estate space is 20, 30 feet high. You know, the North Shore of Hawaii, when they say, look at that big ass, this is that wave to where, in, and you can ride this thing for years to come. Um, it's it, The reason I, I know it's recession proof is everybody will always need a roof over their head. Mm. When Even if times get bad, you're still going to need somewhere to live. That's Next. rental properties. Rental properties. When times are good, uh, people are buying houses. We're finding off-market deals that uh, we essentially assign over to investors. Mm -hmm. The the buy and hold, buy and hold uh, like here when the rates drop, for instance, rates are going to drop. And this might be speaking a little too high level for like newcomers thinking, should I even get into this? Mm -hmm. But as soon as these rates drop, hedge funds are going to start buying again. Mm -hmm. Institutional buyers. Mm -hmm. I was assigning deals during that. Uh, there was like a six month window of time where institutional buyers were coming to me, giving me their buy box saying, hey, pull this data, go buy as many of these houses as you can and we'll buy every one of them from you. I would go and literally lock up as many contracts and they were giving me 20, 30,000 over what I was even asking for sometimes. Wow. So, and that's getting ready. To, they've all stepped aside. Yeah, so you need to get in now, learn this and be ready for that. And we teach all of how to get in with the institutional buyers and like, it's just one of those opportunities where, uh, you know, in the timeshare exit space, the last business I had, I didn't talk about it as much, but this is an opportunity where everybody can get into this. It doesn't matter. My, my business partner in my call center that I have, he started this when he was 16 years old in high school. Mm. And check this out for all, all the young cats out there listening. He was his senior year in high school. He was 17 years old, getting ready to graduate. And everyone in his family went to college and his mom expected him to go to college. And he was 17. He was in his, his senior year. He's going to graduate. Uh, and his mom said, unless you can make a million dollars in 12 months, you're going to college. He was 17 years old in high school and made over a million dollars. I shit you not. That's a true no, I, story. No, I believe you. I see. And it's, I see, I see things like this that happen all the time. And you know, there, occasionally there's that lucky guy that gets, you know, lucky in an industry. Yeah. And then a lot of the time there's that industry an industry where nobody needs to get lucky. It, they you just don't, need yeah. to come in and work hard. Yeah. And, and that's this industry guys. And, you know, we're talking about like, is it time to switch industries? Um, so just ask yourself a couple questions. Uh, the, the, cur the job you currently have, um, the career, whatever, I hate calling something a job, but let's say what you're currently doing. Um, how's your family life? Okay, like just ask yourself, what would your family be life be like if you worked virtually, if you worked for yourself? Okay, how's your health? You know, just ask him. You know, are you eating clean food? You know, are you getting the time to work out and take care of yourself like you need to? Or are you having to give that up? Okay, how much money are you making? Is it worth it? Is it worth giving up your health, giving up your family for the money you're making? Is it worth it? Would you like to make more? Would you like to have your own schedule? You know, would you like to have the ability to have your own health? Um, you know, timelines, go to the gym, eat whatever you want. I mean, because when you're working from the house, you can meal prep, you can do all these things. You have everything there. And we live, we live in a very special time right now that a lot of people, they're just sitting around and they're waiting. You don't want to wait right now. Right now is a time whenever there are things that are going on, crisis, shifts, you know, presidential election year, um, you need to move, you need to move. You need to get yep. plugged into something right now where you can really put a financial fence around your family and take good care of them. And, you know, I see a lot of industries and I see a lot of people working really hard. And I see at the end of the day, you know, after taxes and after all this stuff's done, nobody's really making anything broke. Okay. And yeah, they get a couple months here and there, but because of the bad months, most of the time that washes, I see a lot of people right now that are salary people, W-2 people. And they're like, dude, you know, like, this is a, a big deal. They're like, I don't want to take the risk to go mm. do this and give up that. Well, you can do this part time. I was about to say like, like something I want to tell you guys is you can do this part time. Yep. You don't have to go all in and do it full time in the beginning. You can do it part time. 
you know, get your first contract, make your first 20 grand like we told you about pace and go shit like Eric did, shit. And then you say, well, maybe I want to get a couple more, you know, whatever. But you don't have to give anything up. This could be an add to thing, mm -hmm. okay? Um, anybody right now, Eric, how do they find you on social media? Uh, the Eric Klein, E-R-I-C-C-L-I-N-E, -E. that's it. You guys want to message, you want to DM Eric Klein, you guys can go find him right now on Instagram, okay? Or you guys can just text the number below. I told you guys, me and Eric do events all the time. He teaches this A to Z, how to make a million dollars in under seven months. He doesn't care who you are. If you're willing to work, if you're willing to learn, he'll give you the play. You run the play, you get paid. You can work from anywhere in the world. You work from a phone. That's it. That and anything you want to say as we end this out to maybe somebody watching this, right? who's been in an industry, you know, they're maybe paralyzed to make a move or somebody who just doesn't believe, you know, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll wait. Yeah. I, I actually had this same conversation with my team this morning. At the end of the day, you come and learn something, a new skill, right? The job that you are trying to leave right now, because it is a job, right? You don't want to be there. Let's just say you, you make that risky move, which there's no risk at all in it. The job you absolutely hate, you're not the only one that hate it, hates it. So you can always go back to it. If you're good at it, they will welcome you back with open arms. Um, so I would say the risk is staying there, not coming on this side, sh like learning a new skill set. And, uh, you know, give it 90, uh, everyone that I've taught how to do this and, and knock on wood, because they've all actually done it, Within their first 30 days, every single one of them's gotten a contract. In their first 30 days. And I say that with absolute confidence. Yep. You guys, Eric's got a, a kick ass training program too. We'd love to have you guys come to the event. You know, we'll teach you in person A to Z. Also, you guys can text that number that's on the screen and Eric can reach out to you. You got a pretty cool training program they can train digitally on to, yep. to learn and weekly calls, right? So 100%. Yep. Good guys. Make sure you go follow Eric Klein on Instagram. He's amazing. He's helping a lot of guys make a lot of money. Okay. Is it time to switch industries? Is it time to switch careers? I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Watch this video. Maybe this is the beginning of a new career for you, a new, a new dollar amount for you, a new lifestyle for you. Okay. And if you're watching this, maybe, maybe this is the right video to send to a buddy. Mm. Okay. Somebody that you're like, dude, I know who needs to see this video. Thanks for sharing. Okay, send it to him. We love you guys. Appreciate you, Eric. I appreciate you being here, brother. Appreciate it. And as always, man, let's get paid. This is the year of our life. Going in the back half of 2024. See you guys. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.